It's time for Mayor Monday. This morning we are checking in with one of Washington County's biggest communities, the city of Hillsboro. That's right. Joining us live this morning to keep us up to date is Hillsboro Mayor Steve Calloway. Thanks for joining us Good again, morning. Mayor. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And we are actually the biggest community in Washington County, and we're we're proud of all of that. that go, proud of all that goes with that. So. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me on. Yeah, a lot of good things happening in Hillsboro. Yeah. Okay, so the, the 2020 census, it, it's entering its final month, and this is super important. And I know you wanted to talk about this as well and, and why it's so important that people do fill out the census and, and make sure that they're counted. Thank you. And, and truly, regardless of the size of your community, making sure that we respond and complete the census is critically important. You know, we're seeing right now the importance of federal funding, you know, to provide services in all of our communities. And for the next 10 years, a lot of our federal funding is determined by our census count. Since the census uh, period of reporting and counting has been shortened to the end of September, it's even more critical that we make sure that we have filled out our, our census forms, as well as making sure that our family and friends and neighbors have filled it out as well, because the, uh, the results of this will have a strong impact on programs and financing and even congressional representation for the next 10 years. Yeah, very important. And kind of moving over to COVID. And is yeah. there any, Mayor, is there any financial assistance for community members who are facing any financial challenges during this time? So Hillsborough has just um, just released, um, you know, their third round of small business grants. And so these grants, um, you know, help all of our businesses throughout Hillsborough. And we had almost 400 um, applicants for this third third round. So that's what we're doing for our small businesses. If you are, um, you know, just uh, somebody who uh, is an individual is struggling to meet your utility bill, for instance, then that's something that you can go to the city of Hillsborough's website and you can ask for and get relief for your water and utility bill. So we are working to support our businesses and our communities in every way that we can. Yeah, and as far as businesses, how are they doing out in Hillsboro? Have you had a lot that have needed to, to request assistance? So, you know, we just have a remarkable group of small business owners here in Hillsboro. Um, you know, our restaurants are using, you know, seating out, um, you know, expanded seating as many cities are, you know, out, you know, kind of along the curbs. And so with the beautiful weather and the spacing, it's really a great way to support local businesses and to get out and have a, a wonderful date night. You know, we have other uh, businesses and one of my favorite businesses in downtown Hillsboro is called Pupper Nickel. And it is a small business that caters to the needs of dogs. And, um, and so one of the things that she has done is she kind of spearheaded Christmas in July through our Chamber of Commerce. And so, you know, uh, we're encouraging people to come down in July and to spend money. And I would still say even do it in September as we turn the calendar page tomorrow. And, and so that's the kind of creativity that we're seeing, you know, with our small business owners uh, doing everything they can um, to survive and to get by until things really begin to turn around. So that, the name of that store again is Pumpernickel. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, Hillsboro does have such a cute uh, downtown area too. Mm -hmm. I always like going there. Good, good. Uh, well, we're glad to have you anytime and especially now. Yeah. Yeah. And it really is a community effort to get through these challenging times with COVID and kind of remind uh, what, what is your push in terms of importance of face mask, hand washing, Thank you. You know, and, and for almost 40 years, I was a teacher and a principal. So ordinarily, you know, I would have been going back to in-service uh, in service week uh, this week, you know, and, and so bottom line, we also want our kids to be going back to school. And so the more we can wear masks, the sooner our kids can get back to school, the sooner that our teachers can get back to delivering you know, their, their learning experiences in the familiar and most effective way, you know, which is with that face-to-face -face personal uh, contact and those personal relationships. And as I think about, you know, every fall, the excitement of that first day for kinders, their first, first day of school, and our seniors in high school, their first, for their last first day. And I really want these kids to have these milestone experiences. So making sure that we wear masks and wash hands and maintain social distancing is such a critical, critical way to make sure that schools can reopen again 
And then that makes it easier for parents to get to work and to do their work as well. Yeah, I, I have a fifth grader and an eighth grader this year, and I'm oh. with you all the way. I want them back <laughs> yeah, in school. You. Yes, good. Yeah, good. all right. Well, Mayor, always great to see you and, and find out what's going on in Hillsboro, the largest city in Washington County. Thanks so much for checking in with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me back.